Hello, and welcome to Hastings College Theater Department's The Virtual Show. We haven't named it yet. The theme this month was waiting for something. Tonight, we've got seven original films and three musical performances for y'all to see. The original films were created by theater and media students, and our musical performances will be by John Sample, Benjamin Howie, and Timothy Ellis. In between our films, your hosts, Kelly Mead, uh, Lindsay, and Charlie, will be all be doing uh, stuff in between for y'all to see. Uh, we will also be doing a debate. So, you in the live studio audience, if you want to write in your suggestions on the Facebook live chat, uh, make sure to keep them light. Something like toilet paper, over or under, or is water wet? Or finally, candy corn, tasty treat, or God's mistake. But for now, let's start with our first film of the night, Shoe Drop. Okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You sure? You know your parents hate me. They do not like me. They don't hate you? What are you talking about? Yes, they do. You just had one thing to do. Show up on time. I was like 10 minutes late. What are you talking about? You were 30 minutes late. I don't have time for this. You, oh, you don't have time for this? Yeah, I gotta get to work. <sighs> Oh, so you can be on time for work, but not a dinner date with your girlfriend and well, your parents? I can't control the traffic, all right? I'm not asking you to control the traffic. I'm just asking Apparently you are, all right? Because you're holding me to the same standards here. Because I'm going to go out there and I'm going to pay for everything around you. Oh, okay. That's how it is? Oh, my. Oh, okay. Bye! your wallet. I'm going to be late for my date. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I'm like, it'll never help me with this apple to me. So like, I was banging out my shoes, you know, there's dirt in them, and I dropped my shoe off the balcony, and I almost hit this poor girl, um, but instead of, I don't even know, she took off her shoe, threw it at me, put my shoe on and then just walked away. And I was like, okay, whatever, I'll just 
roll with it. But then I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna be late. So I went and I was getting ready and I got a phone call from my roommate. And they were so freaking out because they're at the airport right now. They're flying uh, out of town and they were like, oh my god, can you please give me my wallet? I left it at the apartment. And I was like, you left your wallet at the apartment when you're gonna go to the airport? And they were like, yeah, I'm really sorry. So I was like, I'm gonna be late with this date. He was a really good guy. We met at a party once and I was like, oh my god, I can't do this. And they were like, please, I'm going out of town. I'm at the airport. I already checked in. So I was like, fine, I'll go get you the wallet. So I went and I got them their wallet and now I'm here. Sorry. You know, at least you're not late for our date nights. That's true, yeah. I know, I can't believe I forgot my wallet. Oh, my plane's boarding. I'll call you after I land. Those shoes look awfully familiar. <sighs> I can't believe you and you guys wrote a tire film up based on the fact that you and Darcy share shoes. <laughs> I can't believe that our first performance is by Timothy Ellis.
What a beautiful performance from our very own Timothy Ellis. Isn't he just amazing? Amazing. I love him so much. He has the voice of honey and also the face of honey. Timothy, I love you. We Next, we have Ghost Girl by Taylor Bartos. So like, Ghost Girl, is that like if Danny Phantom were a girl? I think it's like Gone Girl, but like all of them are ghosts. I mean, it complicates the plot a lot, but I'm interested. Hmm. Let's find out. I am a ghost in society. I haven't had human contact in what feels like an eternity. It's hard to come to terms with loneliness, but I guess I'll have to get used to it for now. It feels like my life is at a standstill, at the very bottom of a steep hill that I just tumbled down. And it's not my lowest low by any means, but it's still low. So I guess I'll just have to wander through this maze of life, waiting. Waiting for my life to go in the direction I want it to. And I know I don't necessarily have to do it all alone, but it might be better that way. There are a thousand other things that I would rather be doing than existing in this space. And the only person I have to exist with in my mind is me. Wow, that wasn't quite like Gone Girl, but that was really deep. And now we will move on to something completely different. It is now time for Kay and Kelly to share their deepest emotions and opinions on the world. They will each receive a topic that they will have to discuss until the time is up. Let's begin. Hello everyone and welcome to Don't Get Me Started. Me and Kelly are gonna do this and we're gonna figure this out. All right. First up, coffee. Do not get me started on coffee. It is a bad beverage. And Rich Peters, if you're watching this, I don't like coffee. It's not good for you. It's not good for your toenails. It tastes bad, and it only smells kind of good sometimes. I don't like the caffeine of it. I don't like the non-caffeine of it. It's all bad. Coffee's gross, and if you drink it, you're gross. All right, now we got cheese. Do not get me started on cheese. It's not good, okay? I hate to say it. It doesn't taste good, it doesn't smell good. It's literally mold, you're eating mold. That's what you're doing. And it's nasty, why would you voluntarily eat mold? Why would you do that to yourself? Why would you do that to your body? Think about that, think about that for a second there. Why would you do that? Cheese is nasty. Next up, royalty. Like, England? I guess. Don't get me started on royalty, okay? So you're just born into this divine position? Whatever happened to democracy? Am I right, ladies? Yeah! <laughs> Royalty. Oh, I was born and now I have the right to rule a country. As if. Come on. Wake up, America. Next, dry cleaning. Why? For what? Okay, so why do you make clothes that you purposely can't put it to the washer? Then what do we have washers for? It's like, they do, I don't know, capitalism for some reason? You just want people to pay more to clean their clothes? I might as well just buy new clothes every time I mess up the dry cleaning ones because it's basically the same amount of money anyway, right? Because I feel like dry Final topic. Pineapples! Don't get me started on pineapples. They are the worst fruit and I will die on this hill. They're so bad, I got one tattooed on my body forever so I could remind everybody how bad pineapples are. Oh, they are they are full of enzymes that literally when you eat it it eats you your stomach acid digests pineapple before di pineapple can digest you so think about that next time you want to have a tasty treat finally we got coconuts why i hate i coconut's really good all right i'll say that but why why does it taste like that it tastes like i don't know busy water for what why does coconut and also why does coconut why can when a coconut falls in your head why can't it just kill you like that for what? For what reason? Why does it do that? Why is it so heavy that just on impact you're just gone, dead, that's it. That's your life, gone. And that was all, <laughs> that was all. And for now, we will uh, go to our next segment and we will see you guys for this segment next month.
Mr. Mayor. What? What, Karen? What is it? It's Columbia Records. They want to know the status of your new single. Yes, I'm single. I'm dating Jessica Simpson. Wait, am I dating Jessica Simpson? Am I single? I, I don't know. I, I can't keep the details straight. Yes, you're still together. No, Mr. Mayor, you're single. Will you have that new waiting song out by the end of the week? Yes, Karen, I will get you your single. Just get out of my face. <laughs> Karen, just get out of my face. I will get you the single, okay? Yeah, hey, hey, hon, how you doing? Yeah, it, it's over. No, why, why are you screaming? Why are you screaming? No, no, no. You don't understand. I need the inspiration. That's why this is happening. We are done so that I can make great music because I'm an artist. Why are you screaming? I'm just telling you it's over. It's over, okay? Why are you screaming, Jessica? Jessica, why are you screaming? It's over, Jessica. I am an artist. I am the greatest singer songwriter this world has ever seen. I'm sorry, Jessica. Oh God, I'm sorry. Do you understand, Jessica? God damn it. Ah! Please don't come back again. <laughs> So, what you got? Listen to this. Waiting on the world to change? Yeah. Well, what about waiting for the world to change? Or waiting for my life to change? You know, something people actually say. Tell you what, if this is a hit, you're fired. I love it. Change nothing. That's what I thought, Karen. Get the f out of my face. Amazing. Well, are you ready to move on to the next segment? No. No? No. I'm still waiting for the world to change. Yeah, well, that's fair. So while you do that, let's listen to John Sample's musical performance and then watch another 2000s movie. Mm.
probably get in the same college. Me too. Hey, it's gonna be okay. We're gonna get into MIT, just like mom. Yeah, I know she'd be proud of us. Either way, I know she'd be happy. <gasps> we got the email! Okay. Open on the count of three. Okay. One, two, three. I thought that would end. I was not expecting that at all. And speaking of not expecting things, you, our live audience, get to watch us play trivia and you can join in by commenting in the live chat. The whole point is to see who can get the most points and the winner gets a big thumbs up from us. Alrighty. Question number one. Nebraska is the nation's third largest blank producer behind Iowa and Illinois. Um, is it corn? Yes. <laughs> what super useful study tool was launched in Lincoln, Nebraska? Ooh, um, oh, it's, um, oh, Cliff Notes. Yes. yes. Heck yeah. Okay, question number two. Which band sang about being an Eggman and a walrus. Um, oh, was it the Beatles? Yeah, it was. <laughs> what was the name of the raven Frank Capra cast in all of his films for good luck? Um, ew, what do you name a raven? Jack. Very close. Wait. It was Jimmy. Oh, oh. okay. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> I thought I had that one. <laughs> okay, the unicorn is the national animal of what? Um. <laughs> the, of Illinois? No, I don't know. <laughs> of Scotland. Scotland, you were so close. <laughs> in Arizona, it's illegal for a donkey to sleep in what household appliance? Household appliance? Or like furniture? Oh. Something in your house. <laughs> <It's>, it's <laughs> a couch. Close a bathtub. <laughs> okay, I didn't know that one. Okay, according to Russian laws, a homeless man, or a person, sorry, must be where after 10 p.m.? At home? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and for my final question, who was the lifeguard for the production of the Titanic? The Jim? His name was James B. Anderson. Wow, I'm really good at those J names. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> last question. Triskaidakaphobia is the fear of what number? Um, seven? Thirteen. Alrighty. Thank you so much for those super useful and informational facts. I just, I feel so much more aware about the world now. You are so welcome. Those facts, they mean so much to me. And speaking of relevant and information that is important to us, we are now going to talk about rejection after watching the movie directed by Cassie and Juno.
charming. You're dressed up quite a bit for a park. <laughs> well, who knows? Maybe they just got lost or something. Although, I'm not so sure that's the case. Well, hey, you can't sit around forever waiting for someone who's gonna prioritize you, you know? Yeah, I guess. I just, I try and I try and I know you can't. I just don't have a great compass for that kind of stuff. And trust me, you want to spend your time doing things you want to do and not sitting around waiting for some guy who uses two-in-one shampoo and conditioner. You want your coffee? Like I always say, time may heal all wounds, but coffee makes it go by faster. <laughs> That was so lovely. I, I don't know about you, but I love a good story about friendship. Me too. And I just, I love the part where they said, and remember, time may heal all wounds, but coffee makes it go by faster. <laughs> so true. Do you know what else heals wounds? Piano music? Oh, yeah. This next performance is a performance by Ben, and he is playing the piano. I'm so excited. <laughs> Heck yeah.
beautiful, amazing, iconic, incredible, angelic. Now, remember guys, you need to put in all your debate questions for us to debate for later. But I know y'all are waiting but I'm for the next video. So this next piece is directed by Audrey Weeks. More like Audrey Months. No. Get it? Because it's weeks and months are longer than weeks and it's waiting for something. Just roll the film. Mood. 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 And now we will debate our hearts out on the topic of our choice. With <laughs> Thank you all for joining the debate and putting in your ideas. Um, we're all very prepared, so let's begin. Alright, first topic. Is a hot dog a sandwich? Charlie and I will be for. Kay and Lindsay will be against. Alright, Kay. Alright, a hot dog is a sandwich because a sandwich is something that is between two pieces of bread and that is what a hot dog is. No, because you just said, <laughs> hold on, you said a sandwich is like this. Hot dogs aren't like this, they're like this. The buns would have, no, you already, did, you already did it. But people, you can like, you don't, you know, okay. Wait, Open you turn face it. sandwiches. Open face sandwiches. Would you eat a peanut butter jelly sandwich like that? You can if you wanted to. You can fold it if you want it smaller. Well, on a counterpoint, sandwiches usually have multiple different layers to them, you, like lettuce, okay. hot dogs have you sauce. You can put stuff Relish? Like Relish. Ketchup? Chili? Mustard? Chili? Cheese? Ooh, sorry, okay. Sour cream? <laughs> you can put layers on a hot dog. Why would you put sour cream on a hot dog? People do that. Do people do that? I yeah. Don't know. I don't do it, but you, you do could. that. So they are sandwiches. Yeah. They are not sandwiches. You just said before, okay, concept, all right? You have your hot dog, all right? And it's in between two buns that are like this, yeah. and it's also not two separate pieces of bread. It's one piece okay. combined okay. all together. I hear you. What if you separated the hot dog bun into two separate pieces it, of bread? It Same. breaks sometimes. Are you it calling Subway break. sandwiches not sandwiches because <gasps> their bread is attached? Oh. No. Then what's your basis for a hot dog not being a sandwich? It's a Subway sandwich. Yeah, okay. It's a, it's it like has a sandwich in the dog. name. Is it called a hot dog sandwich? It could if we wanted to. <laughs> no, it's called a hot okay, dog. Okay, what a hamburger is not called a hamburger sandwich. It's just a hamburger, but it's a sandwich. It's like a hot dog. It's called hot dog. It's not a hot dog sandwich. Right. But if you really wanted to, you can call it a hot dog sandwich. In sandwiches, the emphasis is put onto all of the separate ingredients, while a hot dog has the emphasis on just the hot dog itself, because it can be separate without a bun, which makes it its own thing. Well, you can eat any sandwich without a bun. It's called a low carb. Have you ever had an unwitch at Jimmy John's? Is that not a sandwich? Because it doesn't have bread? It's not a sandwich because it's from Jimmy John's. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> Who won? <laughs> Tell us who won. Who won? All right, uh, next topic, 90s music versus 80s music. How could you be? 80s? 80s. And we'll take 90s. All right. Yeah. You guys go first. All right, 80s is better than 90s because everything that came from 90s came from the 80s. That's just how time works. <laughs> I mean, that's how music that's works. How sucks to suck. <laughs> this isn't about, hey, which came first, 80 or 90s. It's which music is better 
better 80s music or 90s music? Yeah, I'm saying that everything that came, everything that's good in 90s music is developed from 80s music. Therefore, 80s is better. So you're saying there's no real 90s music? No, it's 80s part two. <laughs> you just really quench that debate. <laughs> <laughs> one song that came out in the 80s. Eye of the Tiger. I think <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, you know what came out in the 90s? I want it that way, by Backstreet Boys. Which yeah, is only used in memes. So we can continue. <laughs> um, I sing it for karaoke. We still do a karaoke? Oh my goodness. <laughs> See, the 80s music you can work out to and you can dance to it better. That was 90s. All right. Oh. <laughs> okay, this one, I can't say it out loud, but I can. The last topic of the debate. Okay. Yeah. Is Taylor Swift better than Justin Bieber? Yeah. 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 Y
He is such a sweetheart, I promise you, okay? He barely even makes a sound. Do you have any questions or anything? Does he bite? What? Chloe, no. I said he's a sweetheart. Are you sure? Chloe, it's going to be fine, okay? Thank you so much for doing this for me. I knew I could count on you. Let me say goodbye to him before I leave, okay? Chloe, where'd you go? Um, I went to turn off my coffee maker. You don't have a coffee maker. Well, I do now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, um, do you want to come hold it? No, that's okay. Are you sure? Are you okay? Yep, I'm fine. You just gotta lighten up a little bit. I promise it is gonna be fine. If you have any questions or anything, you can just text me. Oh, shoot, well, I really gotta go to work, but I'll call you tonight, okay? Wait, Cassie, I still had questions. Address. Hi, uh, my name is Emma. I called Cassie and she told me to come here. Um, Jack! Oh my gosh! I've been looking for you all over since mom. Mom. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's okay. Here. Is there any way I can repay you? I, I think I have checks in my car. No, no, there's no need to pay me. I, I feel like I should do something. I should. Oh, I should have been there. I, I'm sorry. Uh, you caught me yammering again. Uh, yeah, helping me out would be nice. Can I say one last goodbye? Oh, why, of course. Go ahead. Goodbye, Jack. Thank you for saving me. Would you like him in his cage? No, he can ride in the front seat with me. He loves loose car rides. He's such a sweet boy. I know he is. Am I right? <laughs> All right. Well, we do have... Oh, I'm so sorry. We did have quite a night, don't you think? It had everything. There were dogs and cats. Heated debates. Falling shoes. Oh, and those beautiful musical performances. All right, we all want to thank you and our background crew, our tech crew, because without them, this wouldn't have been possible. Um, so thank you so much for tuning in and we can't wait to see you again.